Howard, good morning. Thank you, good morning. Uh, I posted a couple um, slides um, on cannabis industry sales. Uh, January was pretty much a disaster for the most part. Nearly every state uh, saw sequential declines uh, month over month. Uh, pretty extraordinary, actually. Um, most in the mid single digit range. The most mature markets in California, Oregon, and Washington saw double digit declines. Um, so the industry growth rate, and let me just be clear about this. I don't track every state. I track probably 80% of the industry sales. So and it's very clear what states we do uh, follow on the, on the chart. So this is not, you know, there's like New York Medical, Connecticut Medical. There's some smaller states. I just don't have the time to, to capture uh, and very difficult to find as well. So anyway, industry sales consolidated declined sequentially from 27% to 18%. Uh, the recreational markets, so those big markets that sell recreational went from 23% to 10%. And that is driven by California, Oregon, and Washington. As I said, they're all down double digits uh, year over year now. Um, and then the, the medical piece, uh, which, um, there's just a few states that we track actually went saw a sequential improvement from 35% to 37%. So not a great uh, showing you know, we've got, I guess we're, what we're seeing here is the, you know, what the government stimulus meant for the cannabis industry and how much people were you know, using those, those monies to buy cannabis products like everybody else. Uh, and you can see in the one chart where we have the um, sequential growth rate chart March is a huge comparison uh, for the industry. So I don't expect these numbers to get better anytime soon, frankly. The company, just to put it in context, the stocks, the companies that we like, um, the big three that we like don't really have a lot of exposure to Colorado, uh, California, uh, and Washington. So they're really in those medical states and Northeastern states, which are still seeing good growth, but that doesn't change the fact that sentiment on this group is um, about as bad as it's been since we've been following it since 2018. And uh, that's it for me this morning. And you have the number one factor for growth sector, growth slowing, slowing against uh, tough base effects or toughening base effects. So that's, um, I guess the market got that right. I mean, do you, do you think the companies understand these base effects and, uh, and, or even if they did, were they honest with people much like, any company, I could say, has really, it's not exclusive to cannabis, but do you think that the companies are just going to have to talk about slowing and slowing and slowing and then eventually say, oh, it, it was the base effects. We just, we just didn't talk about that. Yeah, there's a couple pieces to that. Um, so they do talk about it. There's a, a lot of them don't provide annual guidance, frankly, because it's just so difficult to know when markets are going to turn on like GTI. We wrote about it yesterday. You know, it's got New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, um, Virginia, um, potentially Pennsylvania, um, and some huge markets that will turn on. New Jersey could turn on here, um, you know, in a month. So what does that mean for sales? Well, they just don't know. So they don't provide any guidance. But I'm, I'm going to guess that the answer to your question is people don't really understand the base effects um, and what it means for, you know, sort of the overall industry. And and also, we, you know, it's hard to know how much the industry benefited from, you know, the money the government was giving consumers, right? And we're just now sort of getting a piece of that. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.